Welcome back all. Uh, today we're going to be looking at creating QR codes with Stable Diffusion, which is currently um, the latest trend if you've been following the Reddit channels. So let's dive in and create some awesome looking QR codes like this. So the first thing we want to do is create our QR code, which is not done within Stable Diffusion. Um, I use this website and I'll post the, uh, the link in the comments for you. So going through it, we'll type in a website. We'll use URL shortening because it tends to scan better when you come to use it. The error correction level, we keep that as high. Um, again, it just helps when we uh, morph the image into a new image and we can generate the code. So now that we have our QR code, we can go into the image to image tab. Um, the stable diffusion checkpoint model is the rev animated and I'll drop a link in the comments um, if you want to follow along to this tutorial. We can come down um, to our bottom settings. Uh, sampling method we can leave as Euler A. Uh, sampling steps I've found is easier if we have actually quite a high number for this one. Uh, our resolution, we'll make it 768 by 768. Uh, we don't need to adjust the CFG scale. Uh, if we drop down our control net, so you need uh, multiple control nets enabled to be able to use this. If you don't see multiple control nets, then under settings, uh, doo -doo -doo, control net, we can see here uh, multi control net max models amount. You will need to restart um, your instance of stable diffusion if you change this. So I've got mine set to three. So we're back to the image to image tab. If you hadn't had that, we can leave the denoising strength at about 0.75. Uh, control net zero. Here we're going to put in the image that we want to blend into our uh, QR code. So I've got this image. You can create them from text to image um, or grab one offline or one you already have. We want to make sure we enable control net. We're going to be using the open pose for this one and the open pose full preprocessor and the control stable diffusion 1.5 open pose model. Uh, the control weight can be left at one. The starting control is zero and the ending control step is one. Uh, we want to resize and fill. We now want to go into the control net unit one tab. Again, we want to enable it to make sure that um, control net kicks in. And here we're going to upload our QR code that we generated earlier. Uh, for this one, we're going to use the control type of tile, the preprocessor as tile resample, and the model is the control um, stable diffusion 1.5 tile. Uh, the control weight for this one, we're going to set this to a slightly higher value. So we're going to set this as 1.2. So we want, to, we want stable diffusion to make sure that this one is a bit more prominent so that it definitely scans when we come to generate the, the final image. And the starting control step, we're going to start this at about 0.23. So that's 23% of the way through the image generation that this will kick in. So we're going to start with our picture of our futuristic robot lady, and then we're going to blend it into the uh, QR code. We can say resize and fill, so they match. So the next thing we want to do uh, we'll put our placeholder image into here. Uh, we'll enter some positive and negative prompts. Some I grabbed earlier. Again, I'll leave these in the comments if you're following along. Grab our negative prompts. Do, do, do. So the last thing for us to do is simply hit generate. And let's hope that we get an awesome QR code that comes out of it. And here you can see that we have an absolutely awesome QR code. Um, that, that, that's awesome. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. Um, but apart from that, cheers, guys.